So as more local meetings are being held about the future of Starship on the Space Coast, the next SpaceX rocket that will launch here will mark 45 launches already this year. That means if this Falcon 9 carrying more Starlink satellites is a go this time, we'd need to see five more launches the rest of the month to keep pace with the big record-breaking goal of 100 launches by year's end. But as we've seen with the start of hurricane season, as launch totals year to year get bigger and bigger, so does the odds of the weather becoming more of a factor. Vehicles pitching down range. When I heard about 100 launches being the goal in 2024 after we just set a new record of 72 last year, I asked CBS space consultant Bill Harwood if he thought 100 launches in a year was realistic. Not surprisingly, Bill brought up the weather. You know, if the weather cooperates, then I think uh, the 100 flights out of here in a year is certainly feasible. But it's Florida Space Coast, you know, and we sometimes get some stretches of pretty bad weather. It's possible in theory, certainly. Or whether they can pull it off in reality remains to be seen, but they're certainly going to try. We'll be happy to go back home when it's our time to go back home. Of course, the weather will also play a huge role in the return to Earth for Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. The first astronauts on Boeing's Starliner capsule are now scheduled to fly home from the International Space Station on the 22nd. As excited as the decorated crew looked to be back on the station when they got there a week ago, Butch and Sonny probably won't mind the extended stay. Just look at Butch smiling when he was talking to kids this week from his home state of Tennessee. What does it feel like during a rocket launch? It is a fantastic ride, I'm telling you. I recommend it to all of you. <laughs> At Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.